The town falls asleep. It's just past 10 o'clock, but it seems like it's midnight. It must be because of all the unexplained comas. There are no lights and nobody is walking about. あの影を探し出し調査する。アーチャーのマスターも無茶を言ってくれますね。ああ。けどやるしかないだろ。セイバーは反対か。私の考えは朝に告げた通りです。それでしろ。何か手がかりはあるのですか。闇雲に町を
We head outside within the silence, trying not to wake Sakura up. We climb over the no trespassing fence into the temple. The Ryudo temple is now treated as important material evidence in the coma incident and no one is allowed to enter. The night air is not any different. It's warm and it smells like ripe fruit. It what? <laughs> we go through the compound and climb up to the entryway. The wooden hallway is dark and the floor creaks with each step. ですがこの一帯が異常なのは確かです。この山に踏み入った時から私たちは異なる常識に取り込まれている。It is said that a dragon lives in that lake. There may be a clue at the place people consider holy. We go out into the hallway and head behind the temple. At that instant... Shiro. What? Saber. I'm shoved back into the temple by Saber. I realize Saber has pushed me, try to go back out into the hallway and... The exit is shut firmly by Saber. Saber! I bang on the door. I don't know what kind of magic it is, but the door is as hard as steel. The door refuses to budge even when I throw my weight against it. And from the other side of the steel like door. Why's that? Assassin。I didn't even sense him. Even though the air is strange here, a servant's presence is a different matter. The magical energy should be apparent if a servant takes form near us. Even if he hit his presence, I should be able to tell, let alone Saber. Saber's presence fades. Her footsteps are loud. She must have repelled Assassin's attacks as she charged within range. I look around. I pick up a stick that's about the size of a wooden sword and strengthen it immediately. I have to make this into a sword and break open this door. An ominous feeling, a mysterious uneasiness fills my mind. This place. It feels like a fatal mistake to leave Saber by herself on this mountain, so I have to hurry and... What now? The lights go out. No, there was no light to begin with. The moonlight has been blocked off by clouds. <laughs> I smell something. A, a smell of rotten meat and sounds of bugs flying around. Is it Mato Zoken? Mato Zoken? I glare into the darkness. Well, of course, Assassin is his servant, so it's no surprise that he is here. A snicker! It's that old Magus! He's hiding somewhere. Saber! I ready the strengthened weapon. I have no fear, even with a centuries old monster in front of me. The only thoughts in my mind are of concern for Saber. Interlude 8 2. She runs across the hallway to corner the skull mask. The 15 meters between them have been reduced to 5. Sybil should be able to close in with one step and slash her enemy along with the skull mask. But the enemy knows that as well. He uses projectile weapons because he knows he will be no match at close range, and he retreats because he does not want her coming near him. Although not as fast as Saber, the skull still retreats with the speed of a running beast. 
He slithers across the floor, not slowing down even at the corners. Does he have eyes on the back of his head, or is the mask on the back of his head? Assassin steadily retreats from his opponent, maintaining the distance between them. A spray of sparks. Three daggers are released without any motion, but have no effect against Saber. Like Lancer, Saber has protection against projectile weapons. Lancer reads the course of the projectile attack using the sound of cutting air and the enemy's murderous intent. Saber uses the sound of cutting air and her own instincts. Imperceivable attacks are not much of a threat against heroic spirits. It is those attacks that cannot be blocked even when detected and understood that are the fatal ones. In that regard, Lancer's lance is appropriate to be called a noble phantasm. A weapon that always strikes the heart cannot be blocked merely by knowing about it. If one is to oppose that demonic lance, one must prepare a shield overwhelming the magical energy of the lance, have great enough luck to change the fate determined by the lance, or prevent him from using the lance in the first place. Compared to that, assassin's daggers are easy to manage. They can be fatal if they strike any vital points, but they are no different from throwing stones. <laughs> Over 40 dirks have been thrown. Having used up his supply of daggers, Assassin finally stops. <coughs> Saber stops as well, hesitating. The enemy that did not want her to come close has stopped. There is something for sure and an ominous feeling surrounds Assassin. This is no situation where she can step in without care. <laughs> Saber knows it is best to kill Assassin now, but she takes a step back in spite of that. She should not advance. The instincts she has sharpened over the years that have kept her alive for a long time. Those instincts are screaming. Do not advance. Stay away from the deep darkness. Ah. Saber. Saber does not answer and raises her sword a bit. She points her sword at her enemy. There are seven meters between them. It will take two steps to get close enough to strike. As a swordsman, she must close in on her opponent. But she has a secret technique that can be used at all ranges. Though it can be used only once. Assassin's black cloak flutters. He has no idea where the wind is coming from. <laughs> Assassin's voice is strong and clear in contrast to his appearance. Saber narrows her eyes, thinking that his voice is similar to that of Lancer's. The skull laughs in agreement. What can he do throwing black daggers at an opponent armed with an invisible sword? Assassin keeps on laughing, being displayed with a great difference in the strength of their noble phantasms and their level as heroic spirits. サーバントではなくマスターを殺すしか脳のないなりそこないがアサシンなのださて、となると私の標的はただ一人だけだ理解できるかね、セイバー私の行動は全て君の主を仕留めるためだけのものだと Light emanates from Saber's sword, or rather, the gold sword is revealing its true shape. Oh. 
風のまじないで刀身を隠していたかなるほどその風圧ならばその場からでも私を立てるわざわざ七に踏み込むこともないというわけか The black cloak sinks The prey he was supposed to lure in turns out to have a projectile attack There is no place for schemes now If Saber intends to kill Assassin without coming close, then he must close the distance himself to kill her first. Tachiba got a bit of a bad guy. I'm going to show you the fool. 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 Sarito, I'm going to show you the fool. I'm going to show you the fool. I'm going to show you the fool. The skull mask crawls on the ground. It looks like a spider on a wall. The compressed wind becomes a swirl of vacuum about to be released at Assassin. He must be insane. Does he think he can survive the fatal whirlwind simply by lying on the ground? Sate, do you see that this is the last one? I'll tell you what I'm going to say to you, Saber. You know what? If you say that you're going to be one, then you're going to be one. Saber raises her sword. He cannot withdraw even when he is talking. Saber is staring at Assassin. Even if Assassin were to teleport, she would kill him before it even took place. That's why I was the master of the master. The decision to protect the RG is correct. Her sword is raised above her head. With the attack poised to strike, Assassin crawls even lower. But there is no way. An inquiring voice to that. Saber replies with a single attack. The match is decided. The windstorm is like a heavenly dragon, its serpentine body winding about to devour its prey. There is no chance of defense or evasion. This is like Lancer's Lance. This is a blow that cannot be blocked unless one has more magical energy than invisible air. Assassin's magical energy is far short of Saber's. The only way for him to survive the attack was to prevent Saber from releasing it. But that is too late and the whirlwind has been released. His black cloak will be torn to shreds a mere second after the blade descends. The dislocation of death closes in with a swirl. With that in front of him... Assassin charges at the wave of vacuum with a yell of delight. <coughs> what? An attack aimed for the neck. Saber repels it at once and the black figure walls overhead and lands behind her. Oh, no, no. In a flash she turns and slashes behind her. But Assassin has already jumped out of range. At the same time... <coughs> The ominous presence she has been feeling has covered the ground beneath her. The shadow expands. The mud-like pollution invades on her silver. Darkness swallows the pathway, a shadow that does not even reveal itself in spite of the white moonlight. And... The fuck is that? She sees it dimly through the haze of her fading consciousness. Assassin... Kisama wa... So da, Saber. Moe one thing is... I chose this place as a fight in this place. ここには良くないものが住むとお前は気づいていたはずなのだがな She cannot even hear Assassin's words She would disappear in a matter of seconds This shadow swallows servants Her body detests it to before her fading mind She does not care how she has to escape, even if she has to use all her magical energy. Only her feet have been engulfed. If she fights with all her power, she can still break free. 
Even if she may lose most of her magical energy and both her feet, escaping the shadow is the top priority now. But... So I can. The shadow is not her only enemy. The skull watching Saber get swallowed is death that finishes her off. <laughs>。Two on his side? What is he talking about? The shadow the shadow keeps invading. <laughs> Her existence rots from her feet. She cannot feel her toes or her feet. Her legs are already something that does not exist in this world. それは惜しい。無駄無駄お前を消滅させては私の目的は果たせない。お前の心臓は私がもらう。お前が私を。おかしいか。探検はそこを突き私とて影には近づける。その私がお前を仕留めるのは不可能だと。Murderous intent lights up in the skull. Faint traces of magical energy gather in his right arm. Assassin's right arm is a stick. A deformed arm without a hand cannot be used as an arm. It cannot hold a dagger nor can it be used to strike someone. But now that arm bends. With the snap of breaking bones it flaps like a tattered wing. Yeah, it's that right hand. It is an abomination. What a long arm. The clubbed stump at its end was actually the elbow. The arm was folded back at the elbow with the hand stitched to Assassin's shoulder. Saber's mind freezes. It will reach. That arm can reach her. It will reach her and rip out her heart. His arm flaps, sending a shudder through her body and... The cursed arm is thrust like a lance. A sound of cutting meat and gushing blood. Her blood drips onto the floor, staining the shadow in crimson. <laughs> Madness leaks out from the skull mask. The outstretched arm is stained red. After finishing its job, the arm falls back to assassin. <laughs> and is severed at the elbow. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get when you underestimate Saber. Her upraised sword falls to the ground. Assassin's cursed arm did not reach Saber. Saber's sword has cut the cursed arm before it could gorge out the reflected image of her heart. No matter how cornered she may be, Assassin's noble phantasm is not enough to kill Saber. No. As she has blocked Lancer's lance, which reverses cause and effect, she cannot allow herself to be defeated by this cursed arm. <laughs> but that is her last act of resistance. She has put the power to escape into the attack. She has no power to escape now, and even if she did, it is too late. The ominous presence now emanates from within herself. The shadow has invaded her legs and is now up to her waist. She's becoming a part of this darkness which, uh, which swallows up even the moonlight. Then everything is too late. The shadow creeps up. As her vision fades, the silver swordsman. Oh shit. Manages one last apologetic gasp before sinking into the deep mud. Damn it. Okay then, so I guess next time on uh, Fate's Day Night, Shiro 
versus Mato Zoken. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.